Since the original TI-83 was released in 1996, not much has changed. Flash memory and apps have been added, and it was eventually renamed the TI-84 Plus in 2004. But little else has changed other than a dazzling array of colors to choose from. In 2006, the TI Inspire was released. In order to help teachers and students make the transition smoothly, a compatible TI-84 keypad was bundled with the hardware. Unlike the TI-84, the Inspire has been changing rapidly, with new OS and hardware releases common over the last few years. With each calculator costing over $100, they are no small investment for students and parents, so we are here to guide you through the pros and cons of each calculator. The first thing you'll notice about the TI-84 is that it comes with a removable cover for added protection. This is actually a very durable calculator and holds up extremely well to the kinds of drops and bumps that are normal in the classroom. The battery cover is easily removed to reveal the calculator is powered by four AAA batteries and a small backup battery accessible with a screwdriver. The TI-84 is not a power-hungry calculator and you are unlikely to need a battery change more than once per school year. Looking at the top of the calculator, we see an older style I.O. port on the left and a USB port on the right. The USB port can be used to connect to other TI-84s or take advantage of free software upgrades made available on the Texas Instruments website. In fact, a recent operating system upgrade was significant, offering new fraction capabilities and other templates such as summations. The new OS is a huge step forward, but the TI-84 still feels a bit dated. After all, the original version of this calculator was released all the way back in 1996, and it's unlikely Texas Instruments expected this platform to last so long. Windows, drop-down menus, pointers, and other features which are intuitive to students who grew up with modern computers are all noticeably absent on the TI-84. Even a simple task like finding a minimum involves a series of menus and boundary selections that can be confusing to students. On the other hand, the TI-84 series has been so successful for so long that teachers, tutors, and older siblings are often very familiar with it, and that alone is a major plus for the calculator. Despite the removable cover, the early versions of the Inspire weren't as durable as the 84. However, in our experience, TI has been willing to exchange broken Inspires for new ones for almost any reason. Looking at the top of the Inspire, the USB port is the only method of exchanging data. Free upgrades and software are again offered at the TI website, and the upgrades have been coming at a rapid pace. The method of changing the four AA batteries is different here, where you need to remove the replaceable keypad to see them. Newer models are capable of having a rechargeable battery installed. The interchangeable keypads are actually a very interesting feature of the TI Inspire. Notice how the buttons of the 84 keypad are laid out just like the original TI-84. The older style I.O. port is even included. It's likely that Texas Instruments wanted to ease the transition from the 84 to the Inspire because with the 84 keypad plugged in, everything about the Inspire functions just like an 84. It's almost like getting two calculators for the price of one. In terms of software and hardware, everything about the TI Inspire outclasses the 84. The operating system uses documents, windows, point and click operation, spreadsheet features similar to Microsoft Excel, slider bars, and the list could just go on and on. The display is capable of grayscale and runs at a much higher resolution than the TI 84. Still, the TI 84 remains a popular choice probably because so many schools have heavily invested in classroom sets of 84s and are now hesitant to pay for the new technology. If you choose to buy an Inspire, you'll want to be aware that there are two versions, ClickPad and TouchPad. To this point we have been demonstrating the newer version, the TouchPad. The only significant difference between the two is the layout of the buttons. We preferred the TouchPad layout since all of the letter buttons are grouped together at the bottom of the keypad. Here's a look at the older ClickPad model. The green buttons are letters, and it can be easy to accidentally press them since they are in between all of the commonly used buttons. If you have a ClickPad and would like to update to a touchpad, you can find them for around $10. Although we're not going to go into as much detail here, 
There are also two versions of the TI Inspire CAS. CAS stands for Computer Algebra System. Because of those advanced algebra capabilities, it's not allowed on the ACT or by some teachers. You can see that like the regular Inspire, there is a touchpad and clickpad version. A big difference here is that while the touchpad version has a removable keypad, the clickpad does not, so there is no way to change it to newer hardware. Other than that, there is no significant difference between the two calculators. Look for more detail on the Inspire CAS in an upcoming video.